Welcome back from that short break. And of course, we are still discussing the NFC technology. I'm excited about this technology, ladies and gentlemen. For those who are watching us tonight, I'm excited about this technology. These are simple things that we need to adapt to. As Ugandans, we need to adapt to this kind of technology so that we can make our life much, much easy. These are things that you don't have to wait for years for them to you know, be at your front door. You just have to adapt to them as quickly as possible. Now, I will take you, uh, I'll take you guys back to my guest so that he can explain to us more about this technology. He's going to get the opportunity to also demonstrate to us live right now. How does this operate? How does this work? And we're going to understand exactly Proxima Smart Cards is here. We have someone from Proxima Smart Cards who we have been talking to in the first uh, session. And now we're going to just elaborate more on what this is all about. But as, I'm, as I said, I'm excited about this. I'm very excited. But I want to understand something, Omar. I'm back to you now, Omar. Yes, I hope you're enjoying this. I am. I am. I am. Are you, are you, are you if, if feeling the technology? Omar, the technology in Uganda, you mentioned that it's one thing that can actually put us out of the so-called third world country quotation. And I highly appreciate what you're doing for Ugandans. I highly appreciate the technology that you are bringing on board for Ugandans to adapt to. That is something that we have to be grateful for. But please explain to us how can NFC secure effective transactions? If someone is to use NFC to make payments, is this very secure enough? Um, well, um, software-wise, it is supposed to be secure enough. Mm -hmm. I will not lie to you, Proxima Smartcast doesn't deal with payments. I like the yet. fact that you use secure as well. I will love you. Yes, please continue. Yes. So, Proxima Smartcast doesn't deal with payments yeah. as per now, especially in Uganda. Mm -hmm. For um, security reasons, we told you. Um, people can easily just grab your card and use it and by just tapping on it. And they already have your information. You even, without your, your information. even without your, 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 your author, or, 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 I mean, authorization. Your authorization. Yes. You don't authorize this person, but because they already know about the technology, they exactly. can easily get your information yeah. without your notice. Yeah. Okay. There is limited amount of devices that can just take contactless payments in Uganda right now and it's in big supermarkets. Mm -hmm. um, uh, big institutes and all that thing and they don't actually use it actively mm -hmm. they rather you swipe your card and put the pin and all that mm -hmm. to protect the customer their customer because no bank wants to, wants to risk it right now you know mm -hmm. so um, but when it comes to security wise it is really secure it is really easy it's nice you know you just you can get exhausted, your wife calls you, hey, get for me bread, you're from a long day, you know, at work, you're exhausted, mm -hmm. there's jam, mm -hmm. you can, instead of starting to count the cash on you, you just... or the coins, you know, you can just easily take your card and tap on it and the transaction goes through immediately. Oh. That's how easy and like amazing the technology of NFC is. I feel like, I, I think I should have had one so that I can just type on yours and see if I can get some. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. but that, that would be very interesting. But to me, I also, but help me understand um, one thing. What are those security features that are into the Proxima cards that, you know, help us to, you know, have that effective transaction done? Um, those security features inside that chip or inside the Proxima card? Well, first of all, all our cards have serial numbers. That serial can, numbers? No, yes. Okay. So that serial number, you know, each, each card has its own. It cannot be duplicated, it mm -hmm. cannot be reused or anything. And your information can only be changed like by the admins, by the superiors there. Mm -hmm. Not anyone can reach it. Even if they take your card, it's just literally useless for them to use it because they can't reprogram it. Once you buy it, it's locked. Someone can take your card and edit things and you know all that. If they know too much of technology and it doesn't work that way because once we are giving you your card, we lock it. We make it secure that no one tampers with your, with your, um, with your information. And we give you the password. We give you a pin code that only you and the company knows about it and that's how secure it is. So we do actually told, I told you we have so many um, 
ministers, we have so many big officials that use it worldwide, mm. and that's how security. That should is. be like an example. That should be an example because yeah. no minister, no deputy minister, no uh, advisor of the president, no whatever is going to come and trust you with mm. the information if they don't have that faith mm. in the technology. If mm. we don't earn their trust, and so far there is nothing to complain about. We have been running since 2020, and. There is no. So we have been three that. years in the industry. We have been three years in the industry worldwide. Well, I, I, please, something I didn't act, actually ask so well in the first session is the cost implication of acquiring this card. We talked about accessibility and adoption. You said how easy it is to adapt. You said how it is to afford. You said how easy it is to access. But kindly mention to, to, to my audience how much well, does someone need to have to acquire the Proxima See, markets? the beauty of this card mm -hmm. is we bring something. The beauty of our company actually is we bring something every businessman needs. Mm -hmm. For people who have different businesses, different companies, they, and they have different details, different um, names, and different titles for each company. Like you're the CEO of this company, but you are an employee in another company, you are a founder in this company. Yeah, you can, we can create for you different profiles and you use only one card for all those profiles. Instead of printing out different cards, yeah, um, and I'm coming to answer your question of the cost, but I'm gonna like no problem. enter no into problem. different things. No so to instead of printing out different cards for each company you have and each company you need like a hundred cards to go for this event, mm -hmm. you can move with one card and if you're interested in a uh, Proxima card, I can give you my Proxima card details. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in uh, something else that I'm doing, mm -hmm. I can give you that one. I can give you my personal profile for people who don't want business. Mm -hmm. Like my personal number for the, um, the close friends, for the relatives, mm -hmm. for the close people I work with, you know, who earn my personal number and I know they won't disturb me at midnight mm -hmm. on business. We combine all those things in one card where you can only switch by one click. Mm -hmm. You log into your account, mm -hmm. you just click which account you want to use today. Mm -hmm. I'm going for this meeting, I want, I'm going as Proxima. Mm -hmm. So to share my details with you, I'm going to start logging in and click the Proxima profile and once I tap on your device you will be meeting my you will be seeing my profile for Proxima and when it comes to the cost price so um, we have different packages as I told you we have the single package we have the multi profile packages as well so um, uh, so our normal profile is uh, $75 which is um, Ugandan shillings, we take 280,000 Ugandan shillings. Mm -hmm. And um, that is, someone may come and say, oh, that's a lot for one card. But honestly, if you look at the cost you're saving yourself from printing out mm -hmm. more cards in the future, that is very, very little money. Mm -hmm. And this is a service that you are buying once and for all, mm -hmm. yeah? Whereby you have all your profile available, every single thing you need on your profile and it can be updated. If, if I'm just asking a question, is this price for all your products as Proxima Smart Cards? No. Because I understand you have certificates, we you have, have certificates. stickers, you yeah. have scans, right? Is yeah, that another product that maybe you have left out? Uh, right now in Uganda, no. We have uh, the Smart Tags, mm. the stickers, we have the, the cards, the ID cards and the certificates as well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, for the cards, that is the business card price, which is $75. And of course, if um, we have different packages, different discounts when someone is buying in bags, I can't get into that right now. It's a big topic actually. Yeah, sure. If I get into it, I will not end yeah, yeah, anytime soon. Yeah. So um, of course, we do have uh, discounts. We have different packages. We do have a discount right now for whoever sees us on uh, Smart 24 TV, yeah. you get a huge discount of 45% of any product that you're buying mm -hmm. of the tag and the uh, card. Whoever sees us from Smart TV, yeah. um, you know, you get your discounts. You just contact us, you tell us, hey, we saw your products on Smart, Smart 24, 24 TV and we would like to purchase this. Yes, of course, you get your discount, you get Very your nice price mm -hmm. and yeah, so thank 280 you. for the... No, thanks to you actually for giving us this opportunity thank to you. get and, you know, help people adopt the technology in Uganda. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the card is $75. Okay. 
Um, of course, it comes with your logo for any design you want. Um, if you want a plain cut like the one I have, mm -hmm. I actually like it. It's classic. I don't need to do much. Mm -hmm. I have different companies, so I don't need to put a logo on it. So I just switch. Um, I just switch and people find different logos on the software as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, it reduces once you want a plain one, once you want your own logo as well. It's the uh, original price, which is $75, 280,000 Ugandan shilling. And for the stickers, it's just $50, 180,000 Ugandan shilling. And it is easier, actually, the stickers, the way it works is you just stick it anywhere you want. You can I think let's, 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 let's show directly to our audience how this definitely works because so, I think we have talked so much about it. Yeah, we did, I think actually. Let's, let's, let's definitely show these people okay. what do we mean when we say easily have a single touch and you can easily transfer information easily. Mm -hmm. Let's demonstrate it to them. So right. it's just a matter of having a device. Sure. Once you have the device with you and your card, it's just a matter of taking it close to the device and immediately it brings a notification. Once you tap on the notification, it loads the page for you. Um, it has all the details that you need, every single thing. If you want my Instagram, it's just one tap away. You go to the Instagram, it takes you to my profile immediately. Same thing with uh, Snapchat, TikTok, WhatsApp. And once you want to save it, you just say add to contact. And immediately everything will be saved. Once you say create new contact, all the details will be there. You just say done. And now you already have me in your contact list and with all the details that you need. Same, that's for the smart cards. Same thing with the um, stickers. You just place it anywhere you want. I prefer placing it on my phone because I don't forget my phone. I carry it everywhere. So in case you leave your wallet at home, you have your sticker around. And it works the same exact way, whereby you just need to take it close to the device and immediately take it close to the device. You open it and it loads the profile the same way. So, Fifty dollars for the sticker and seventy-five. Seventy-five for the card. That's the question you asked me, and that's how easy it is. And you don't need to. For the sticker, you can place it anywhere you want. You can place it on your wallet. You can place it on your car keys. You know, you can place it on your phone, which is the best way. So that's what the products we have right now. The small product. And for the certificates, that one we supplied for the universities, special institutes, organizations that, you know, train people and graduate from there. And of course, I didn't carry it with me right now, I completely forgot. But anyone interested, they can get full details on uh, our profile pages, yes. So that's the products we have. Great, great, great. And I think uh, as we wind up, I'll definitely ask my last two questions. One would be what are those potential partnerships that you aim to have in order to have this you know, technology easily adapted to? Mm -hmm. That's my one first question. <laughs> My second, my last question. Would let me be, ask. Let me answer the first one okay, first. I have no really a terrible memory. <laughs> I'm going to forget no what worries, I want to say. No so for our partnerships and everything, so what we are looking forward right now is exposure. We are looking to grow bigger in Uganda and give every single one the opportunity to know about our products. Every single organization, every uh, every governor, every minister. You know, you that we need to let them know about it. That's what we're looking for, that's what we're aiming for, and we really do appreciate what you're doing for us today here and like giving us that exposure. Yes. And we're hoping to have more interactions, more partnerships together. Mm -hmm. So that's for the aim that we want. We are aiming on growing the technology in Uganda. Right now, Proxima is just having the cards and the certificates and whatever, but soon we're gonna bring more. And as you know, the more the country develops, the secure it becomes, that's when the, you know, contactless payments grows bigger in Uganda. And as I told you, in the next five years, Uganda can be out of that category of, you, give me five. you know? <laughs> I can't wait until we get out of that category. Hopefully, now, my I'll last be here question. to witness it. <laughs> You would be here, I would be here, even everyone, even those my producers by the Hopefully all be here to also be and help us grow Uganda to yes. better places, you know. I can't wait. My last question would be, any future advancements that you see? Where do you, what's, what's your vision uh, for these uh, very smart cards? Do, what, what, uh, what do you see in the next five years? 
uh, what what are those future advancements? That's that a see? very nice question. I really love that you asked it. Yeah. So what I see yeah. NFC doing in Uganda in the next five years is. I really hope, I really hope I get the opportunity to introduce this to the government, to the ICT um, department and everything. We do actually, we really hope Uganda on adopting and getting the NFC technology ID cards, uh, national ID cards obviously. It's so easy. The driving permits, we hope like on uh, land titles and everything so that we can stop scamming in Uganda as well. And, <laughs> Why are you know, saying it with the emphasis? <laughs> well, <laughs> someone who's close to me have been scammed okay. when it comes to buying lands and all that. They have been given fake land titles. It's really, you know, encouraged me to bring this to Uganda yeah. because right now it's so easy. You can have your land title and it can easily be, you know, verified that it's official and it cannot be duplicated or faked, yeah, and signed by the correct authorities that can assign you something, a property. So we really do hope, I, like, as a company, for Uganda to reach to that level of developing, uh, of adopting the NFC technology in different various ways when it comes to the certificates, um, uh, when it comes to the ID cards, when it comes to companies having given their employees all that. And actually noticed here in this place, you guys have the, the clock in and clock out and uh, the cards that you verify. I don't know if you use cards or you use no, thumbs. No, we use thumbs. Yeah. Use thumbs, yeah. So yeah, it can be taken to the next level of using the cards as well. And you know, we really hope companies see that. Great. We, Great. Our target is just to develop this country. Of course, I want to say I'm not targeting money, but <laughs> you know, our main target is to it's see Uganda to reaching. The country. Yeah, we, and we really do appreciate himself and putting Uganda up there and working hard for it. Um, great, great. And we I don't also, know if I'm supposed to say that, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it, is okay, it is okay. Of course, we do appreciate the government and what it's doing in the world 100%, of technology, 100%. especially in Uganda. And to me also, I just want to take this opportunity to appreciate you, Omar, for this. We do uh, really appreciate this, you, you know, giving us the opportunity technology. to put Uganda in that place as well. Great, great. So uh, for those who are watching us, thank you so much for being a part of this magic show. Of course, we love you. We love technology and every time we are here, we are here to bring you the latest news in the world of technology. We are here to bring you the latest breakthroughs in the world of technology. We don't want to leave anyone behind. We are here to make sure that you understand what happens in the world of technology. For those who have been watching us tonight, I appreciate you with one heart. I appreciate the fact that you tuned in. I appreciate the fact that you have been watching Smart 2014. Stay tuned, stay smart. Bye. Thank you.